solid yeah. threats. I, I would hate to fight a ball. Def any definitely, in my opinion, this character is high tier, and a lot of players just don't see yeah. that many Pac-Mans. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you guys can play me all you yeah. want. I honestly think Ultimate has more high tiers oh, I agree. But, than the previous games. Oh, it's a button check, yeah. Nah, this is hardcore neutral. They're serious. Well, I'm excited about these matches. So far, we have had really great explosive sets. Uh, throughout our entire block, if you're just joining us, my name is Thunder Gaming, Edmund, and to my side, I have my buddy Vance, <laughs> doing it big as always here on the side stream, the Meta Shift for Switch Fest yeah. 2019. I know a lot of you guys watch the Meta Shift stream here for Melee, and of course, man, definitely keep it up here. Give it a follow, give it a sub. Uh, it's got some great melee content yeah. every Thursday with uh, Nimbus. Yeah. Still doing it big out there in the melee yeah. scene for sure. And if you're enjoying the commentary as well, be sure to give us a shout out. Yeah. On on Twitter, let us know if we're doing a good job. If, uh, if you have any constructive criticism for us, yeah. definitely offer that as well. Um, so you didn't mention Keyword earlier. constructive. But yeah. You didn't mention earlier he is from Philadelphia. He's number three in Philadelphia. Pokemon Trainer. He is if, sponsored if we, by. If we are to trust his, uh, his Twitter, Twitter profile. Yeah. Yeah. Sponsored by <laughs> Illusion Game. Uh, if you guys are winning all these tag odds on there, and of course, I won't tell you. Just, just go ahead and give him a follow on that on that Twitter, man. Enzo underscore SSG, number three in Philadelphia. Uh, yeah. let, let him prove himself first, bro. Yeah. If you like his gameplay, go shoot him a follow, right? Yeah. I mean, shouts to him for making it out here in the companion too. Sure, I mean, yeah. sometimes players out there campaign, but they don't make it. But for you to make it out here to switch fast and get a ride at SoCal totally. and get a ride, I don't want to take off the sweater. I gotta respect it. It is hot in SoCal, oh, yeah. currently. Quite a big so. upset against Pope, right, from Nito. If you guys are wondering what we're talking about here, yeah. just, earlier on the Meta Shift stream, we saw Nito versus Pope. Nito did beat out Pope. Pope ranked number 28 in the PGRU for this season. Pretty big. Pokemon Trainer. All right, well, there's the fist bump character selects the start screen let's go ahead and get into game one enzo versus t this is for top 48 i believe yeah either way one of them gets to make it out losers one of them gets to make it out winners let's see who's going to be on the winner's side all right so kicking off our game one here uh enzo starting off with the squirtle as one usually does oh my god these forward air conversions from t though we are getting into the tail end of our uh, commentary block here, so this, this is going to be one of the final matches of the evening. As yep. We're starting to see the top 48 qualifiers on the screen. A uh, bit of an even percentage right here. Nice. He kind of controlling the pace, putting Enzo at the ledge. Neutral air from from Enzo, though, putting he uh, in a not oh, so favorable what position. A follow up. Yeah, using the Galaxian ship to actually uh, turn the tides and put himself back into the into advantage. Back throw, nice. Oh, so that's a, and uh, the reason why he did that is because he knows oh. Charizard. I'm sorry. Yo, all right, makes it back to the ledge though, but he's gonna get stomped on by this hydra. This, ladies and gentlemen, is edge guarding. This is this is edge trapping, ledge trapping, edge guarding, man. This is everything. This is the whole the whole shebang. Good. Right. I like that. Tosses up the thread of the actual bell because he knows his opponent might have walk, to walk in. Great stall from the Hydrant. Yeah. Wanted to avoid the flamethrower. Yeah, we're going to see that consistently. Back throw should take it even with Charizard being as heavy as he is. And he sets up the Hydrant at the ledge. That actually forces Enzo to kind of burn his resources, use his time, uh, his oh. invincibility up on trying to get rid of it. So really smart play there from T, who continues to rack up his okay. damage with a falling up air off the platform, doing him in one. 94% already on Enzo, though. Almost getting hit by this bell. He's got to be careful at the ledge here. The bell does last a little bit longer in terms of a hitbox when you toss it down. So that was great coverage coming out from T. You kind of knew that fact that I'm going to cover neutral get up, and then on my landing, I'll probably cover like a jump get up or a roll get up on that one. Nice. Takes his time to come back on the stage. Looking for a whiff punish against Ivysaur, but he loses the hydrant on that one. Yeah, I really like the way that Enzo is dealing with the Hydrant. It's going to be such a critical part of any matchup with Pac-Man on the stage is how to maneuver around the platform, uh, how to maneuver around the Hydrant, knowing which of your attacks are the fastest and do the most damage to get rid of the Hydrant, which has a set amount of HP. I yeah. believe it's around 13 or so. If you're only a few characters can actually do it. The yeah. HP actually has to load yeah. before it sets itself right. on the sub bar. So you can take it out pretty early. 
All right, Enzo looking for the edge guard. T make sure he comes back. He kind of saw Charizard out there for the threat. Oh, he That's gets it. caught by the bell. The up smash finding its mark, and T moving up one stock here. Enzo down to his last life on this first game. Oh, so much damage off the Galaxian shift with the forward airs to boot Pac-Man. Still gonna make it back to the stage. Yeah, Pretty oh. phenomenal recovery all around, <laughs> making use of the trampoline and his side view. Back Great throw DI. still not enough. Great DI and a good use of Hydrant to actually move shift your hurt oh, box. Yeah. yeah, he's been using the Hydrant so well after all, using it to shift his hurt box to stall his recovery. And uh, even stall his opponent. We yeah. kind of saw him charging out for all the fruits while we saw Anzo try to take care of the Hydrant. Look at that. I love that. The high recovery so that he can land with the Hydrant. However, that jab almost doing the trick right there. Multi-hit that will get rid of the Hydrant as well as register its mark onto his opponent. Okay, okay, I love the option right there with the up special out of shield. I, the one thing I am liking from watching T is every time he loses a stock, he, if you guys can see the player camera, he actually switches foot. Yeah. <laughs> Each and every time. Uh -oh. I honestly think that's, <laughs> I, I, like we switch switch every leg that he's standing on. Yeah, every he's got he's now. got one leg on top of the other. Yeah. So he's he's switching back and forth. So there's yoga poses mid ma mid match, dude. That's a real thing, actually. Comfort, man. You gotta be comfortable when you play the game. That's for sure. Real life we've been training around here. Oh, conversion off the hydrant, man. It really does look like Enzo probably has some Pac-Man practice himself. Yeah. He's definitely not unfamiliar in this matchup whatsoever. All right, beautiful neutral air. He throws out the bell as a threat. He has it in hand. Should he Z drop it? Oh, he finds the back air off of it. The only conversion he had. And he tosses the orange mm -hmm. for the KO. And T happy about that victory there. Taking game number one, gonna pump his fist in the air. Game number one going to T. Enzo not too far behind there. There's a reason yep. why T showed that emotion, right? It's because it was a very close game. And, and Enzo, uh, T recognizing that, putting respect on the man himself. And uh, yeah, just being being joyful about, about the win. Yeah. Let's see here. Woo, man, I'm... I hope I hope I have enough uh, energy to do my my uh, second block later on for top forty eight. I was gonna say like yeah. you, you, yeah yeah you do have a second block top forty eight. No, I'll be fine. Dude. Be fine okay. I'll be fine. I'm I'm, I'm the pro. I'll, I'll oh yeah, because your your block is the one after mine, right? So I'm at like six p.m. I think. Yeah, I'm at four. Yeah. I mean, well, enough about us, man. Sometimes the players on the screen here, yeah. the, the what's important here, they're the real stars of the action. Here we go. Right you are, man. These are the stars of the show, after all. Enzo and T running it back to Pokemon Stadium 2 for the second game. And I like the way T put himself off stage to kind of just charge his fruit. That's going to be a, a stall tactic that we see Pac-Man players do often. Great punish with parry and the neutral air. All right, that down tilt on the Hydrant actually getting him punished. He's already taking quite a substantial amount of percent. 60% on Enzo here. T looking right. for the landing. Nice. Yes. Getting enough time to charge the fruits. Yeah. Great opportunity for him to walk a little bit back. He wanted to get a whip punish yeah. on the Ivasaur. Yeah, I think uh, you can see T is definitely adjusting his gameplay more to playing a little bit more passive. He's going off stage, mm -hmm. charging the fruit, uh, using the stall to get it just like... He's, he's racking up safe damage as opposed to the like aggressive pressure that he was putting on in that first game. And you can see the fruits of his labor coming to fruition here uh, as he's got 137% Finding the bell to up smash yet again. Only 31% on his first stock. Enzo really trailing now. He grabs him out of the Pokemon Switch. And oh my god, T, you're a madman. 71% already onto Enzo. Enzo consistently uh, finding a way to get rid of the Hydrant, though, using the falling forward air to down tilt. It seems like to be his uh, quickest, most consistent option to get rid of that Hydrant. All right, Enzo moves in for the edge guard. Nice, good call out. He kind of sees the fact that he has been going for a lot of out of the ledge options with aerials. Using the abs, he did that the last time, but we saw him go for the up B to call out T there. Nice, tosses in the apple down, and he's looking to see how Enzo's going to land. All right. Cherry. Good back air. Yep. All right, the Hydrant back in play. He's just going to jump over it this time, toss him off with a forward air. Flamethrower, and we saw how T has adjusted to that a little bit, and he's... Extra cautious. Oh. Missed the grab though. That's gonna up be a throw. back throw. Back throw. Okay. I like it. not enough percent just yeah. yet. Yeah, and he was a little bit too far away from the from the platform to get that extra certified KO. Up throw here should do the trick. 
Yes, yep, it does. Apply. Just barely, man. 137%, though. This is a massive mountain to climb for Enzo. T charging up the fruit again, getting that apple, nearly taking the KO. Yeah, <laughs> just walking up slowly with the forward tilt. Unbelievable. Actually, yeah, that was forward tilt. Oh, I was going to say, that was unbelievable, that was but that was great. Tilt. It's also because you do run out of legend ability the yeah. higher percent you yes. are. Yes, absolutely. It's good T, down there. One last stock here from making it into top 48 winner side. And if you guys are wondering, the loser will make it to top 48, but only on the loser side. Right, yeah. So you still have a chance to see these guys later on. Top three make it into the bracket, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, continuing this pressure. Nice. Throwing out oh, so many hitboxes at the leg. I like that from Enzo. He was looking for the whip on it. She saw how T was coming in. But of course, really, the startup there was the one thing that kind of slipped him down. Okay, the, the rising neutral air kind of stopped Enzo in his tracks. Back nice. air to cover the jump over. And look at the pressure he's consistently putting on. Trying to use the water from the hydrant to propel himself forward and find himself that forward smash. Not we saw him, out. we actually saw T hit the hydrant a little bit earlier. Yeah. And that was for the sole purpose yep. that the next time he hits yep. it, it's ready for a follow up and a absolutely. conversion. You're absolutely right, Vance. And you can see he's just, he's just got so much control here. I'd be surprised to see Ento bring this back, but it's definitely not out of the realm of possibility. He's just got to find this stock right away. Make use of this rage oh, but and the, the back, back air. air. It does the trick, and T taking the solid 2-0 victory. You can see he breathing, he's laying down on the chair. He was scared, man. Even though he got a 2-0 victory, it's like, it's not out of the realm of possibility. I'm yeah. telling you, Rage, Charizard, the Squirtle combos, Ivysaur being able to just like spike you down into the blast zone. <laughs> There's a lot that could happen, but T making it out into top 48. Winner's yeah. side with the 2-0. And if you guys are wondering back home what the PR is for Philadelphia, I was able to find some research for yeah. you guys here. Uh, we do have 6WX, who's ranked number 10. Philadelphia Juice, Juice ranked number, rank number one. one. Yeah. yeah, we did see Juice a couple months back here for Prime Saga. He was also at Shine most yeah. recently. I don't remember what his exact placement is, but he's known to be one of the like best Falcos. At yeah, the current he is, he's actually the best Falco in Philadelphia yeah. and the best CSS in Philadelphia. Yeah. And ranked number one, uh, Enzo is ranked 